Welcome back to my channel. This been a while, long time not making any videos. Well, why? Uh, no, that's no reason. That's I don't have time to do it. That's it. And this is not my surviving things. I'm just sharing whatever I need to share or whatever I wish to share. Well, now currently it's COVID nineteen period, and uh, everyone is wearing masks and also stay at home don't don't walk out to infect others people or get infected by people well mask is a, one of the thing and i saw a lot of mask selling online is very expensive well when people in the group say that oh we can print 3d printed masks and also uh, face masks or, or whatever tools that uh, medica use i did add, take one of them the most of the design and ask some uh, doctor friend and medical fact he hospital and they told me they don't need those things because uh, they're using different version of kind of things. So, and also the mask, I tried it myself, like this one. This is a design the sense shared online. And also another version, this is a flat version. This is three hours to print, this is six hours to print. Well, yeah, you're, you may hit right, six hours to print one. Unless you've got 50 machine, otherwise it's no, not worth any production line. And you, you, will, you will can notice that the, the, the cost of making this is not that, not that cheap. Of course, if you have three D printer, you want to print one yourself. Yeah, it's fine. But if you want to buy from outside or, or, or buy the printing service, they will be uh, more expensive than uh, the most expensive face mask right now. Well, like, but yeah, it's quite fun. You can wear it up, and I hit it down to bend a little bit to match my face, which means this is my face version. You can see there's no hold. But is that really useful for any uh, uh, real medical use? Like, I I don't think so. Well. Because uh, if you use a mask as a one-time use, every time you come go out and come back, you should throw away because the virus may attach it on the mask because your your hand touching. Well, it's possible because your hand touching the the COVID nineteen transfer by not by airborne is but it's by the the the, the, the virus that you touch and accidentally put put uh, put in your mouth or, or eyes. It can connect it to both. And yeah, this is also one of the thing that possible to block away from it, but it's not really usable. So you, if you spend six hours to build one and going to throw away, that's kind of. Luckily, this is a PLA plastic. It's a biodegradable, but I still don't think that is more. They're very useful, so I'm not going to ask you to buy one from any others. But if you have three D printer, you can print one for yourself. Uh, for experiment purpose or whatever reason but not really for like public use because you, you can't really wash it and you can't make sure all the layer line inside can store the virus or not this is a model but it's not for a medical purpose models because of the layer line because you know the small layer can con can collecting order virus no not not only covid 19 virus is other thing or dirt you can't really wash it or you unless you have no idea how to wash it and you cannot use it to hide uh hide heat if you guess you heat it up it will be melted or uh, softened so which is, which means you can't use heat to clean the virus you can use wash to wash away the virus so this my opinion is this is not a good idea for all 3D printed masks, masks will be not a good ideas, unless the face mask you use it, make the bracket and use a, any another plastic sheet to cover face. But well, that is also not connect, not not really re, uh, medical tested or whatever this uh, temporary use. You can see a uh, Prusar did announce a, a face mask. Well, but that build that thing is a little bit hard for you and me. You may need a plastic sheet to cut it out. And in this period, you might not want to go out to buy the plastic stitch sheet. So for just a bracket on top and the, and the bottom to hold it, uh, it's not that very useful for all our home user. Uh, well, I'm Bruce, I'm from B3D Online. If you need something like this, or you got uh, ideas that really useful for, for people, they can talk to me. Uh, in this period, I mean, we may probably help for free and depend on the case. The situation and tested with testing with purpose also can so uh you can contact me from the link below and thank you and see you again